talk about quantization using quantization to accelerate large language models, but large language model and diffusion model have a lot of difference. For example, on single batch inference, large language model is bottlenecked by the memory bandwidth, while the diffusion model is bottlenecked by the compute. So those uh, methods like weight-only quantization cannot accelerate uh, diffusion models because they are compute-bounded rather than memory-bounded. If it's memory-bounded, a uh, large language model can benefit from like W4A16, uh, weight-only quantization. But for in order to achieve measured speed-up for diffusion models, we need W4A4 quantization. Quantize both the weight and activation to only four bits without losing fidelity, which is even more challenging than W4A16. And let's see how do we solve that problem. So we observe um, the weight and activation both have a lot of outliers in diffusion models. We have seen this figure, uh, sister figure in smooth clock lecture. So this is the distribution. So the green is the 50 percent percentile, uh, the yellow is 99 percentile, and the remaining is the rest 1 percent. So the red part is the outlier. So the activation has a lot of outliers right here, and the weight also has a lot of outliers making it both difficult to contest. So we can apply smoothing, like we did in smooth quant, to migrate the quantization difficulty from the activation to the weight. So the activation is much smoother, a lot less red compared with here. But the activation has more outliers. Previously it has only one outlier, now it has two. Uh, this is a real distribution, a lot more red compared with previously. But luckily, the activations outlier is migrated. So we just need to uh, migrate the weights uh, outlier. We can do that by decomposing uh, using a side branch, which is a low rank branch, to absorb uh, those outliers using full precision. But this is very low rank, and the 32 ranks, so this is very cheap. So we can migrate the outliers migrate the quantization difficulty to the side branch such that uh, after SVD uh, the weight has a lot less outlier compared with before. So finally both the weight and activation are four bit, but it's very easy to quantize, there's no outlier and associated with a very low rank side branch. And the good thing about this approach is that if you use um, lower fine tuning you don't need to re-quantize the uh, weight, um, but you just need to append a few more ranks, like 16 or 32 more ranks, in full precision by uh, whatever LoRa you want to add to this module. Since a lot of people are using diffusion models with LoRa, so this is very compatible with the framework. Before that, we, despite that, we actually observed Naive implementation leads to a lot of overhead, like the yellow and the red region for this up and down project projection due to, uh, due to the LoRa branch. This is the main branch. Um, this is the LoRa branch. Uh, we fused such overhead such that the latency overhead, 40% of latency overhead is removed. And we achieve that by actually fusing this down projection with the previous kernel since we share the same input and we fuse this up projection to the next layer for the compute since we share the same output okay? and in that way we can uh, reduce this uh, overhead in, red, in yellow so this is the kernel fusion so this is the speed up um, and the model size reduction so the speed up 16 we can reduce it by 3.6 times so the W4A16 method to commercialize uh, 4 can also reduce the model size um, and also reduce the memory. We can reduce a bit more since we are also quantizing the activation. However, this is the beautiful part. Okay, so this exciting part where the conventional W4A16 work can only reduce the memory, but it doesn't lead to any speed up. It's actually slower because we still need 16-bit uh, arithmetic, but here we can use 4-bit arithmetic either int4 or fp4 we can achieve three, more than three times measured speed up on 40 micro GPU okay, and this is 
a single step latency, the baseline method is out of memory, um, the NN4, we can make it a 3.5 times faster than the NN4 approach. So this is the visual visualization comparing the baseline approach. Uh, it's out of memory on a 49k GPU. Okay? And this is an N4, very high fidelity, but it doesn't have any, uh, it's still more than, uh, more than a second. It's pretty slow, well, we can make this just half a second. Uh, this is the naive interval quantization. You see the quality is really poor. Actually, the quality already started to degrade from IP16 to uh, NN4 approach. But our approach can well maintain the uh, output quality pretty much the same as the original input. While the memory is reduced, uh, previously 23 gigabyte, now it's only 6. So 5 gigabyte, half a second compared to 1.8. And this is showing you that SV Quang is very compatible with the existing LoRa. We can just add a LoRa branch uh, without having to do any re-quantization. Okay, so this is IP16 and our in version using different LoRa uh, models like realism, pretty much the same. Um, the enemy, children, yarn, different kind of styles well maintain the fidelity for different um, LoRa models. <laughs>